You guys look great. Everybody is rolling. We better look great. I mean, we're wearing all relevant right now. How can you not feel okay. great? It, that's what it is. It's not look great, it's feel great. Hey guys, Benny from Huckberry, and welcome back to the Huckberry Gear Lab. And I am incredibly excited on a variety of fronts. First and foremost, let's not bury the lead. Jamie Rupp, founder of Rowan, back in the Huckberry Gear Lab, welcome. Thank you, thank you. And also, we're gonna do a little history lesson for those of you that haven't paying attention. Jamie, you're actually the very first guest of our Gear Lab 1.0 at our old office. Which I never knew until you told me that yesterday. So that's uh, wanna, quite, know, not, quite an honor. Yeah, you know, keeping you honest. I appreciate that. But first one, I mean, pretty nice new digs. It's a, a big upgrade. Big upgrade. I thought Alaska was like pretty pretty sweet, but this is definitely different than that. Excited to come back and we're doing what we do, I think every year. We wanna make this an annual pilgrimage to Austin. We gotta come back up Please, to- Please, it's fun. Let's do it. And we're gonna talk today the Rowan Fall Collection. And what we love about Rowan in general is the foundations to a guy's wardrobe. There's so much amazing intention and design detail that goes into every single garment. For those that don't know, Rowan, you were based in Columbus, Ohio, founded in Columbus, Ohio. How long have you been doing Rowan? Fall of 2007, we came to market, basically came to New York and opened up a wholesale line and never stopped doing it. I so. know this is 2007, so you've been there 17 years. Well, I'm not the math guy, 16, 16 years. Yeah, 16 yeah, years. exactly. And we've been working together for almost 10, so. Yeah, a little more than 10, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. We've known each other, yeah. That's right. Our motto is be lasting, and that kind of spells out the heart of what we try to do with everything that we touch. We want to create durable, lasting products, both design, fabrication, mm -hmm. And so that's that's really the thought process is to create product that mm -hmm. keeps working. Yeah, yeah. So do we talk about what we're wearing right now? So we, we as can. lead pieces. Yeah, let's just get that out of the way. Well, you're wearing our Highland Blues mm -hmm. because we take the mindset that blue is like the perfect complement to pretty much anything you're mm -hmm. wearing. Whether you're wearing your cargo pants right now, or mm -hmm. if you have a chino on, or if you're just wearing some flyweight flex shorts right now, it's a yarn dyed fabric, but mm -hmm. it's not going to bleed or or have that smell that an indigo yeah. product would naturally have. Yeah, yeah, it's a lighter weight too. I it's mean, not it's, heavy. It's hardy, yeah. but I see, I've got some denim denim shirts and they take some breaking in. This fresh out of the box is yeah, it, ready it, to dance. It, 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 yeah, it's got some pliability to it. You've yeah. got the mother of pearl buttons. The way we construct everything is like single needle, mm -hmm. um, whether it's the side seam in terms of the way the thing is like constructed. You know, it's, it's supposed to be something that you're gonna have for a long time mm -hmm. and not pull apart or, or yeah. fall apart. You're looking very put together. This is a shirt that I was wearing last night, so I'm good thing that we aren't doing. I would be honored to be your twin, Twins, but yeah. this is the utility shirt. Uh, yeah, correct? so our utility work shirt, you know, we refer to it as utility because of the double pocket. Hey, anyway, there's so many nuances that go into the, way we, the considerations of the shape of the pocket flap, where they sit on your chest, so they're not staying too low, not too high. Even the way that we reinforce the pockets, and also starts with the fabric, first and foremost. But yeah. there's a consideration of the silhouette, which is pretty classic. You know, you've got double needle workmanship around the armhole at, at the yoke seams. The chest pockets are actually reinforced with this canvas tape material from left to right, from armhole to center front placket. You just create a reinforcement layer, so mm -hmm. you're able to like, just have a, a gutsier, more durable garment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a suede hand. It's super yeah, soft. It's so soft. It's buttery smooth. I, I love the fabric. This is like, I'm not saying it's replacing the flannel, but this also plays that sort of flannel weight type yeah, shirt in a colder absolutely, climate. absolutely. Yeah. Having the stretch in there, which you typically don't find in flannel fabrics, yeah. it also gives it a little bit more resistance to wear and tear. Yeah. I mean, you can wear it trimmer and you've got a garment that doesn't feel trimmed yeah, totally. as well because of the movement in the fabric. Okay, we got shirting, let's move on. Let's talk blazers or sport coats, I should say. All of our blazers are cut as four button fronts. You'll see a lot of things out there that are just simply to the second button, which would be the waist button, which in a traditional way, that's the only way you'd ever wear a blazer. But because it kind of built off the old sack sports jacket from like the 50s and 60s Ivy League, mm -hmm. which those things were much more blocky. This thing actually has shape in it, but it has that old Ivy touch. It's a three button, but actually a fourth functioning button. So you can actually mm -hmm. wear it to the neck. Yeah, yeah. You've got the tab collar that actually comes across as well. And I won't necessarily button that button. You could if you want to, but yeah, there's yeah. a lot of things in life where you, you like the idea that's there and you totally. could do it if you want yeah, yeah. to, but I like the look of it. you never do do it. Yeah, it just yeah. looks cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So an extra piece of attitude in there. Totally. Another thing that I love when I see a blazer is this pocket and how that pocket actually lays on the garment. 
you know, this is actually cut at an angle, so it's actually set off by like one inch, mm -hmm. which is actually, you know, the most beautiful garments that were ever created always had a sense of nuance in terms of the shape of the pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just the way that the pocket here lays square to the body, but mm -hmm. that welt yeah, yeah. is set in there differently, yeah. at a different angle. That's the way I want to look yeah, when yeah. I'm wearing a garment. I wear this with a t-shirt. Yeah, and, more and, power. And, and I'll pop the collar and wear it with jeans, and it's a great jacket, but wearing it like a shirt jacket, like a denim jacket. It, it's meant to be worn, but meant, like if you got to work in it, and, and whatever work is for you, these details, the reinforcements, the buttons, the stretch, that all lends itself to the durability. Size. Yeah, let's put it on. So, well, and it's easy, right? Yeah. I mean, I can yeah, move yeah. and I can do things. I could throw a baseball if I wanted to. Yeah, yeah. This is the Flyweight Flex Blazer. And then we've got the Trap Blazer. These are a couple new ones for fall. We've got the cord, the heavier, and then this is that sort of waxed Yeah, trap. we refer to it as a fly wax, but okay. this is the fabric that has been resin treated. It looks like wax, but it does not feel like there's wax. No like stick there's to no it. residue, there's no. But I, this is one of those things where you get excited because it is a new textile yeah, in yeah. terms of the way it functions and feels. And you could almost like wad this thing up in a ball like this. And you begin to develop some high low in the fabric yeah, by yeah. just wearing it and having your arm take, you know, create the shape in the garment. Well, you, you begin to see see the wearer, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and then you put on a hanger, but it would almost stand up on its own the way the fabric, you mm -hmm. know, kind of has a certain rigidity to it, but yeah. it's, it's actually as light and or lighter than the flyweight. How convenient, the this is my stuff. <laughs> what is the difference between, I, I've been curious, the flyweight and the trap? Because they, they're similar silhouette. The, they're the same thing. They're the same. The flyweight is basically the fabric, the fabric. that I'm wearing. Okay, now, if you've got the trap and you're wondering the flex, it's the same silhouette. Yeah. It's just This guy, because it doesn't have the stretch in it, is about a half inch bigger. Got it. Or one inch round bigger yeah, yeah. than what I have on right here. Got it. This is your round town jacket. Right, right, right. You right. know, you're not necessarily playing, throwing a tie on with that garment. Yeah, yeah. So flyweight and trap, same DNA, same foundations. It's just the fabrication. Yeah. So it, it, if you love one, you're going to love the other. So. And the word the word trap came out because we think of it as like these duck hunting coats yeah, from, yeah. from history. We, we actually had this little oh, back right. pocket back yep. here that you could, you know, put a bottle of wine or whatever else you like to put back there. We don't suggest you put any ga actual game back there because yeah. they're not rubberized pockets, which yeah, yeah, you'd yeah. find in those old hunting jackets. And this is the hardy, the sort of our new, peak our new fall. Eight whale cord piece. Whale. So we call it our, our cord trap blazer. Okay. It's got a little bit more guts to it. You know, you, you've got fabric that if we're 190 grams on, on these guys, this guy's going to be closer to 320. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit more weight, more warmth, but it's actually is not any heavier. It's actually a little bit lighter than 11 whale just because mm -hmm. the fabric is not quite as dense. Mm -hmm. So anyway, there's movement in the fabric. Yeah, yeah. You definitely want to throw the knit beanie on this yeah, type of piece because yeah, it yeah. gives you that high low, yeah. you know, you also got like the handsome collegiate professor. Harrison Ford in uh, yeah. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, he's like right. in front that's of the right. classroom. Yeah. 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 So shirts, blazers, it would look weird if we weren't wearing pants. So we're gonna talk about one of my favorites this season. Let's talk about the cargo. And I don't wanna say the cargo is back because I've been wearing cargos since I was 10 years old, but they are having that resurgence in that moment again. Yeah, yeah. I don't love cargos that have the cargos kind of slapped anywhere on the leg. Mm -hmm. And so the pockets are positioned, you know, a good six inches off the kneecap, higher up on the thigh, which is what a real cargo should look like. Mm -hmm. But then you also, on the originals, have these this longer fly opening, just so that you could like get on more easily and with more underneath it, you know, whether it was that insulated line or whatever we're speaking of. Then you have these little straps here, which are actually there for like suspender details mm -hmm. and or, you know, just hanging them up right. to dry or whatever it might have been. The originals came with these tourniquet straps and these things come out and they're actually oh, unequal yay. lengths because one strap goes around the front of the leg, one goes around the back of the leg. This would then strap through here and you can do both legs at the same time if there's a real issue or if you're snake bitten in the field. Yeah. And then these things would be tied off at the front. So basically tourniquet straps to for field dressing purposes. This is my travel pant of choice, particularly with young kids, but I am using every one of these pockets. Yeah. And when I'm on a plane with kids, this has got snacks, this has got my AirPods. I love the snap closures because I always lose things. Yeah. I love these pants so much. I love these pants. 
put my endorsement, put a big ding, 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 Ben's pick of the year. How do you, how do you wear the cargo? First off, I always roll my, my, my cuffs mm -hmm. um, just to get it off my shoe. And I do happen to like that square looking leg. Yeah, yeah. This time of the year, I'd probably still be wearing flip flops with them, but <laughs> <laughs> as long as I can wear flip flops, I've you know? I've seen you pull in the cargo but, flip flop uh, look. You but otherwise, I'm a sneaker guy, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, any, yeah. any, any note, any variety of sneakers. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get to outerwear. I'm gonna start with. Our favorite. Our favorite, yeah. Well, outerwear as a classification. This is obviously the wind zip pop zip because it's both zip and yeah. uh, button. It's a pop over. Pop over. Tell me a little bit about the inspiration and where this plays. In well, I, the I, outerwear I, I, I must think of this fabric as, as the fabric that launched a thousand ships for us. It was a fundamental that suddenly became a lot more when we started to make it into a vest. Mm -hmm the pop over, the jacket, it's such an easy piece. And yeah. it's all about temperate, you know, dressing. It's a technical sweater. You just throw it over that woven shirt and you're ready to go. Yeah. It's like wearing, as we commonly refer to as a little sleeping bag, mm -hmm. you know, just mm -hmm. super thin, you know, good for 40 degrees and mm -hmm. you're comfortable. I love wearing it like a sweater. And, and I think that's a great way to think about it. Well, you feel pretty um, smart wearing it too, yeah, right? Cause yeah. it's, again, it, it's it's on the body. Right. You, you, yeah, yeah. It's like, I can still see you've got a shape, you yeah. know, when you're throwing on this type of product. For better, for worse. <laughs> All right, next. From afar, looks like a classic utility flannel. This is the quilted shirt jacket. Foundationally, it remains unchanged amongst the three. So to your point, it's a work shirt. It's a utility work shirt. You got the whole same double patch and flap, except we exchanged the recessed buttons with the black oxidized brass snaps. So it's a little faster on and off, mm -hmm. makes it more jackety because you've got the snap action. It's an easy garment to wear. And I actually love to wear this like a shirt. You know, mm -hmm. think of it as almost like a puffy shirt. I'll actually tuck it in and look I think pretty smart wearing it like a shirt, but is, there's novelty to it totally. when you wear it like that too. Yeah, yeah. One of the trends in apparel is toward recycled materials. Mm -hmm. So actually we, we use a 60 gram polyfilm here that's also 100% recycled as well as the polyester product in here. Mm -hmm. You, you want to do those things yeah. and many of us are, are making those choices these days for our apparel. You can see it's it's got a shirt silhouette to it. You yep. actually do have pockets here, although they're on seam and so they're inconspicuous. Mm -hmm. So it still looks like a shirt. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, one more thing. You actually have a pocket within a pocket here. So this is like mm. kind of perfectly sized for... <laughs> Should we throw a bottle of bourbon <laughs> yeah. in there? So it's very versatile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not a heavyweight flannel. Yeah. yeah so yeah. that that's the other pleasing part about it. You, you can see the quilting in it. It gives you some undulation and some, some textural feel to mm -hmm. the fabric by seeing the quilting pattern in there. Mm -hmm. You have this diagonal two inch quilt. And then just like everything else we make, you know, it's beautifully constructed from inside out, yeah. you know, with all yeah. the clean finish, bound seams. All right, I don't wanna call this a grand finale, but the warmest jacket that we will talk about today. This is one of the core quintessential Relwin pieces, fall outerwear. This is the quilted tanker. This is the jacket that we've probably carried the longest out of all that we have walked through. This has been a foundational piece, obviously to Relwin's line, certainly to Huckberry's. We were talking about all the different photo shoots. We brought this jacket along. We haven't found years. a way to replace it. I <laughs> yeah, mean, in other for words. For good reason. For, it, it, you know, you try it and that's, for, for that reason, we try to improve it with every season. You know, whether it's the, the type of zipper that we use or the shape of a sleeve. In this case, the sleeve actually, the geometry of our sleeve changed this season, mm -hmm. where it's actually now got some ergonomic appeal in terms of, it doesn't lay straight. Yeah, it actually yeah, bends, it, there's a bend, that's the a natural, natural bend to the garment. Yeah. But this season we went a step further in terms of the way the pattern's shaped. Mm -hmm. And so on a table, if you were to cut this pattern, it's shaped almost like a banana in a way. Mm -hmm. The other thing we did, we, we put more dimensionalized polyfill in the garden mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. So we actually bumped it up 20 grams at the same time. Mm -hmm. It doesn't create any weight issues, but actually gives the garment a little bit more just dimensional look with the quilting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't look as flat. Yeah. It's still yeah, a transitional yeah. piece. Yeah. You're not gonna get hot in it. But again, it's meant to be layered. You know, right. you can wear a sweater under here, right. or a sweatshirt, whatever it might be. We line all of our pockets with Trico. We yeah, could simply yeah, yeah. be doing the polyester ripstop on the backside, right, but right. we actually go to another level and add the, the soft finish, oh, yeah, totally. which feels great on the back of your hand yep, if you've got yep. to put your hands in something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that element actually sits inside all of our pockets. Mm -hmm. And then the way that we put our zipper, it's a number seven black oxidized zipper that's made for us that sits under this Trapunto stitch placket. You know, then we back the collar with this terry fabric mm -hmm. as well. And then we have a recycled polyfill sitting behind here. Those materials make the garment super lightweight, mm -hmm. but also give it a certain smoothness, yep. ease of wear on and off the body. Right. It's a bestseller for a reason. Every time I see this jacket, 
especially every season when we're preparing the line to come in, I start feeling fall. Yeah. Like this yeah, jacket, it's I'm fall. like, fall is here. When you go into the season, so let's, let's think when you were planning this fall collection that's out now, is there this overarching sort of seasonal inspiration, something very specific to fall 23? Coloration is a big deal. Fabrication has to change. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you go into a heavier whale size for mm -hmm. the corduroy blazer yeah. this coming season. Right. We're dialing out the fabrics, we're dialing out color against a familiar assortment of styles, mm -hmm. which are kind of the backbone of, of what we do. Yeah, you know, yeah. we're never gonna not do a, a double pocket utility right. work right. shirt. The pieces are familiar, but they have to always be reinvented in yeah, some yeah. way or another. So that was it. And that's not it, it, as it, I it. mentioned. We've got a much bigger collection of Rowan on Huckberry. Obviously, the things that we don't have Huckberry got a Rowan site, and you've got many of your own exclusives over there. But really fun to run through some of these fall highlights. Here it's straight mm. from straight from the horse's mouth. Sounds kind of, I don't like calling you a horse, but like from the experts. It's okay. That's a compliment, but yeah. it's been awesome. Always love wrapping products with you. As I said, we could have kept this camera rolling for another couple hours. Yeah, it's fun. Jamie, thank you again. Thank Swinging you by man. the Huckberry Gear Lab. Fall 2023 Rowan live on the site. Until next time, we will see you out there.